What's up and welcome back to the channel. The name is Ninja Knight. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell up above for future uploads. Check out the links in the description below. Consider joining the channel today and thank you to everybody who supports the channel. So here we have a forced image of Transformers Kingdom Commander Class Rodimus Prime. Now this was something that had been rumoured over the last couple of months and I think for a lot of fans that were out there that had seen this leaked listing happen beforehand, we were kind of concerned whether this would be an animal version of Rodimus Prime or whether this was going to be a G1 version of Rodimus Prime. What's quite curious to look at from this line is it definitely seems like they wanted to shove in some G1 characters into this Kingdom line or that they decided very late in the game that they wanted to take some of these G1 characters out and put them into the Studio Series line. I think it's quite curious now that they've gone with this design particularly as it's very reflective of what happened in the 1986 Transformers movie when Hot Rod became Rodimus Prime. I find it very strange that they've decided now to put this into the Kingdom line rather than into the Studio Series line. It seems like the Studio Series line might be a limited edition maybe line and I think maybe if they could clarify that a little bit more. As far as I know Hasbro are going to have a stream in April so it seems like they're going to clarify a lot more information with their products going forward. So maybe they will give us some reasons as to why they decided to put this into the Kingdom line. I think that this would have looked a lot better with the Transformers Studio Series particularly because you already have Hot Rod there. But maybe it was something to do with the names being quite similar that they didn't want companies to get confused and that they didn't want them then to not order this version of Hot Rod being Rodimus Prime because people that are ordering them within these companies a lot of them do not know the difference between these characters and if they see this character very much so looking like the Voyager class Hot Rod that's coming as the studio series you might have places then that will say well we're not going to order that in so that might be a reason as to why they decided to diversify this and put this into the kingdom line as opposed to the studio series line personally i think i would have liked it more within the studio series line and that's to do with the fact of the packaging i really like the background that the tribute to the boxes and that they also give you along with the boxes then for these characters i think that the backgrounds particularly with the 1986 movie sort of image stills behind them looks a lot better than some of the more recent stuff we've seen with kingdom which seems very basic so to just go in and zoom in on this now we have rodimus prime the price in Japanese yen is 13,000 and then the release seems to be at August 2021. Now this could mean anything and for anyone out there who's collecting Hasbro figures in particular, Hasbro have been very much so off on their dates. They have told fans that something might be out in July and it's arriving now in February it's very off and on when their dates are going to happen. There are other figures then that are due in February that look like they'd be pushed back maybe to May or June. I don't know what's after happening. Obviously with the shutdowns that the factories had and with everything that's going on in the world that's had some sort of effect. But I do find it strange how some figures that they've announced and that seemed like they were way down the line seem to be coming a lot later then than figures that they're just only announcing that seem to be popping up a lot quicker. So let's take a look here at this alternate mode. So I think the first thing that most people will say about this is, isn't this supposed to be a commander class figure? And yes, you're right. This is supposed to be commander class. So for anybody that remembers, we've had recently gotten Jeffware as commander class and we've recently gotten Skylinks as commander class. So they're supposed to be a bigger, bigger, bulkier version of these characters. So you would assume then it's going to come with armor. It doesn't appear that Hot Rod aka Rodimus Prime does and what this has led people to speculate now is that the trailer and the Winnebago mode that this does plug into or we assume that it's going to plug into is going to become some sort of battle station that they're not quite showing yet. I think that's an unusual thing to do particularly because if this is supposed to be a promotional image you're trying to get companies to buy this figure, you're trying to get them to stock it on their shelves. I don't understand why they would do this without the trailer. That seems like a very suspect thing to do. This would definitely concern me because does this mean then that the trailer has been cut for costs and this is all that we're getting? Because this seems like a very unusual thing to do if they're going to leak it like this and particularly if this is what they're giving towards the companies. There are something that could be said about this that they are just not showing the trailer because maybe they're in finalising stages but this would certainly make me raise my eyebrows at Given what's happened with Hasbro recently with the Hasbro Haslab Unicron, I would certainly see some sort of cost-cutting measures being applied to Transformers very soon. 
it seems like that we've gotten a handover from John Warden and it seems like the brand quite hasn't been the same. We're looking at, for example, even the quality control on some of the Kingdom figures, particularly the Beast characters, the quality control and particularly like the likes of Cheetah's neck, Megatron's left arm, has been quite suspect so far. So hopefully it's not a line that's going to be plagued with issues. What we can see here is an alternate mode that I really do hope plugs in then to the space Winnebago mode, essentially the platform, the trailer that can transform hopefully. Now what gives me hope for that? Well what gives me hope for that is that we can see a kind of circular image here which I hope is some sort of clip that would be plugged into. We see that it's very distorted here and we can also see then in the pipes we have what looks to be something that you could clip into. This would lead me to believe then hopefully that the Winnebago mode is going to plug in and either come all the way up and be able to plug in here also near the wheel and to help bulk them up or if this is the finished product indeed i think this is going to be very disappointing for a numerous amount of people particularly myself who's wanted a good rodimus prime for a long time as you can see here now in his robot mode so the robot mode in my opinion i think is the winner we have the big bulky wheels here which would suggest that they are potentially going to do the winnebago mode but if they wanted to do this as some sort of futuristic truck car I think that that would be a very strange thing to do. Now, they could get away with it with the Kingdom line because they could say to people, well, it's in the Kingdom line, it's not quite G1, it's not the G1 movie, and then they could re-release this down the line then with a trailer. You wouldn't be surprised with Hasbro at the moment. They're, they're doing strange things. So as you can see here, we have a large gun, we have a we have hot rod, Rodimus Prime, and then we also then have this sword. Now, I've seen a number of people online questioning why is he coming with a sword. That's certainly a great question, because if he's coming with a sword, why didn't Grimlock? Now, this seems to be the sword of Primus, so this seems to be a weapon that was used by one of the original Tortain. So I'd be curious to see if this is going to have some sort of story element then within this figure, and then that might give them a reason to say, well, this doesn't come with a trailer because this is the Kingdom version and they can go with any sort of story element that they want to go forward with that bear in mind that we do have a netflix series coming up particularly with the basically the season three of this war for cybertron series which in my opinion hasn't been great so it's very possible that this could be a character that plays a large part within that series and this is how he looks now that could be down to a string of things that could be down to budgeting and that could be down then to the animators just only been able to animate this because they didn't seem too interested within interested in having optimus prime's trailer for example within that series so there might be a bit of a sort of precursor to this one now as you can see when he's transformed what seems to be here the windshield seems to be able to clip here within the chest as we can see the two chest clips there so that seems to be a proper chest and not even a fake chest so i think that's interesting because that's something that they chose to do with the voyager class figure that they chose to do a fake chest rather than do what we can see here so i think that that's quite an interesting thing to do does that mean then that there's going to be further applications to be given to this figure with if it's going to have armor or is it going to be able to be armed up in some sort of way we'll have to just wait and see it certainly looks like a decent figure i think even when you look at the back here it does look clean enough i certainly hope that it all doesn't just end up on the back i think the studio series hot rod from transformers 1996 did look well so we would expect that same sort of idea to be translated here into rodimus prime as we can see here we can see through the backs of the calves which a lot of people will be annoyed about because a lot of people like to have these gaps filled rather than being able to see through the transformers you can completely understand that i mean even when you're looking here at the hip part this looks like you can see through the back and it looks like his waist even is quite thin that's something i think that can be leveled at an awful lot of the design particularly that's happening recently that it does look some of the paint and some of the plastic certainly does look like we're not getting our bang for our buck particularly when you're paying something extortion at this moment in time i think for a leader class figure and then for a commander class figure then particularly because it's coming with a few extra weapons it doesn't seem quite worth the price at times for a lot of people so i do understand that i would much rather the likes of the plastic and the engineering that's gone into this here from this sword to be put into this that would be my takeaway from that okay you can give him his blaster that's fantastic he has his blasters down on the sides of his arms that's great but I think that this is a strange accessory for them to include. But then again, like I said, if they're going to include this in the Transformers War for Cybertron Netflix Kingdom series, well then that's obviously why they decided to do that. If that has no play in the series itself, I will find it that to be a very strange inclusion here. But like I said, Hasbro is starting to do strange things when it comes to some of their products. And it wouldn't surprise me too much. 
ultimately on overall i think i'm quite disappointed that we haven't seen the winnebago mod i think that that is an iconic version of hot rod particularly when he transforms then into rodimus prime when he gets the matrix of leadership what's also curious about this is there's no matrix of leadership it seems that comes with him now they might have more solicitations going forward and official images that actually does come with a matrix of leadership and it does come with the trailer but i think with this image in itself i think it's unusual not to see the full completed specs for this character particularly if you're trying to promote him and again like i said you are trying to promote this figure as rodimus prime not as hot rod a lot of companies when they see this image will think we already have that and that's not going to help sales so like i've been saying i think on the last couple of months particularly Whoever is in charge of Hasbro marketing and doing things like this, certainly I would question very much so the decisions behind this. They've just come off a Haslab Unicron fiasco, so I would assume that they want to get under this one fairly quickly and assure fans and reassure fans that this is going to be a very good update to Rodimus Prime. I'd be disappointed if there isn't a Winnebago mode that has the trailer. I'd be disappointed doesn't even, I wouldn't even care personally if the trailer didn't transform into a battle station. The Earth Rise trailer that came with Optimus Prime, in my opinion, is quite weak. It's quite lacking in plastic. So if people are thinking we're going to get a really serious battle station for this one, I would be definitely very hopeful for that. But I would find it unlikely given what we've been seeing so far. I know some individuals will say, yeah, well, Grimlock didn't use the sword very often or didn't use it entirely in the show. That's a fair point. But again, he did use the likes of Fire Blast and we did see them with Grimlock. He's missing the front teeth on the top and the front teeth on the bottom of his mouth, which to me personally is inexcusable. So there has been costs that have been cut and there's corners that have been cut within this line. I hope that this isn't a casualty of this because this is something that I think a lot of fans are looking forward to. I know the Hot Rod and Rodimus Prime are not every fan's dream character and certainly... I think if you grew up with Optimus Prime and you've seen what happened within that movie, I think a lot of fans did end up blaming Hot Rod and Rodimus Prime for what happened. What resulted in that then was an interesting character arc that Rodimus Prime didn't feel that he was the right leader. He didn't feel that he wanted to carry on and then did revert then to being Hot Rod. So I think that this is interesting to see. I do hope that this is going to be expanded upon more by Hasbro, particularly in April that their live stream or that more images come out on this one. I certainly hope that this isn't the final result. If it's the final result, I'll be very disappointed. I know Hot Rod and Rodimus Prime fans will be disappointed because this is something that I think a lot of people have been waiting for for a long time. I certainly have been waiting for it for a long time. So I want to see it done right and I want to see them do it right. Anyway, I'm going to leave the video for that for there today. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell up above for future uploads. Check out the links posted in the description below. Consider joining the channel and I'll talk to you later. It's a lot of one. Good luck.